I've been doing this for 25 years and I do believe that I've seen a lot in Peru, but you know, still, there's a lot to, to be seen. We are searching for things that truly make sense. Cuéntanos sobre esta plantita, ¿cómo se llama? Yeah, esta plantita se llama Mullasca. We are seeing now a new era, I think, for, for Peru to show through altitudes and ecosystems different ingredients. How we can see food uh, as a connector to different people, places, and communities. So this is probably one of the biggest and main obligations now of cooks and people that are related to food in Peru. Peru for me is home. I see Peru in colors, I see Peru in different flavors, I see Peru in ingredients. Once I met a guy who told me like a Peru was like a wrinkled paper, the geography, you know, like a, when you wrinkle paper, you take a paper and you do like this and then you see, you know, you see, you see the paper and it goes like, and you see all these different points and these different ecosystems that, that we are creating. So, when I talk a lot about the Amazon, the Andes, uh, the mountains, I see Peru in, 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 in geography. There is no one Peru. There's a lot of Perus here. Climate is the beginning of everything. Having all of these microclimates, ecosystems and everything, that's the beginning of having this massive amount of plants, birds and mammals and all of the biodiversity. We need to be really accurate and that's our main job, I would say, to see all of this magnificent biodiversity and to understand everything. There are 55 ethnic groups that are just part of this territory. Then we have the Pacific Ocean with two currents and there's the Amazon on one side and there's at the center crossing from north to south the Cordillera, the highlands, the Andes and then uh, more than 60% of the territory is the Amazon. Okay, you go through uh, maybe 16, 15, 14 ecosystems in, during the menu, yeah? And uh, from the ocean to the uh, up peaks in the, in the mountains and then the Amazon. And uh, this is important for our creativity. This is important for our, our existence as a restaurant. That's what I'm saying, like uh, for Central, there's no ending, like uh, it's like uh, infinite. Central son muchas cosas, creo yo. Central is... Es amplio, ¿no? Central eh, definitivamente es un restaurante para ir a, a comer bien, pero Central a la vez eh, creo yo que es una experiencia eh, muy completa, es un recorrido eh, no solamente de sabores, sino también es un recorrido de información del territorio peruano. When Virgilio decided that Central needed to be about Peru and its ingredients, he got his sister involved and said, let's start a new project called Matter, a research unit that goes out into the field, goes into the Amazon, goes up into the Andes, and finds, I would say new ingredients, but they're actually ancient ingredients, and figure out how do we take the ancient ingredients, ancient traditions, and bring them to Central. As a cook, when I got to the the Andes, I get to experience the harvest of quinoa, potatoes, and corn in the same area, and all this amount of vegetables, and I, I, got, I got to see the value of agriculture. What about, uh, you know, bringing, you know, nature, bringing the mountains, bringing the people, bringing the communities, bringing all these beautiful things to, to the restaurant environment? Virgilio came, came in and he and he took another step forward and he said, let's take Peruvian ingredients and Peruvian products and let's cook with them alone without the need of some other imported products because we don't need them. It's an amazing view of the future that is just unique. We're still learning, we're still working, we're still dreaming. I do believe that um, honestly, we're just starting
I'm Virgilio Martinez. See you at football in Los Angeles.